My name is Nader Nader Najad and I make videos for international students moving to Canada, people who are moving to Canada who aren't students as well. So if you're moving to Canada and you want to make a difference, you want to launch up like a rock and get solidified here, you know, build your reputation up, start a life for yourself. I'm your guy. You know, I've been making so many videos about finding jobs, you know, how to send out your resumes, how to actually, you know, get job offers, but I haven't talked about the interview, how to do a job interview. That is one of the most important steps to actually securing the job because if you go into an interview and they really don't like you, you're probably not going to get the job. So this is going to be some interview tips and tricks for international students but also people coming to Canada who want to secure a job. Now I have had a lot of interview experience, not necessarily job interview experience but I've done radio interviews, I have done you know television interviews, I have taught people how to do interviews, I've taught people how to interview um, and I've done that for the past five or six years now. So being able to do those things will help me in teaching you how to make that connection with your prospective employer and actually build something, build some rapport with them which is one of my top skills is building rapport with people. Um, in order to get that job, in order to secure it, the first thing you want to do is know the person that is going to be interviewing you know what they're going to be asking, know the company, its policies and its culture and you want to have a good working knowledge of the surrounding area, meaning the area the business is in, who they work with. The more information and upfront research you can have, the better. Do not research the job five minutes into going into your interview if you can. You actually want to research the place well before you even apply to it. So that's what people recommend but I've told you to send out three, five, six resumes a day so that's impossible. So what I recommend you do is when you get your offer to do an interview, you need to try to learn as much as you can. If your interview is in a week, fantastic. If it's in three days, fantastic. If it's in the next 12 hours, you better get researching fast because you want to try to shift and move the information you're going to be learning about that new workplace from your short-term memory into your long-term memory so that no matter where you're getting interviewed, if you're getting uh, interviewed at Irving or if you're getting interviewed at the CBC or if you're getting interviewed um, at Walmart, you want to have a good working knowledge in your long-term memory so that when you're sitting there with your prospective employer, with that hiring manager, you actually have Again, you've, you've internalized the culture and the ideas and, and that place is now it's inside of your long-term memory so you can sit there and you can actually talk about the place like you've been working there for years. Now that, again, research is going to help you. Research in the way that I want you to find out everything about that job and I want you to write it down. Start writing right now. Once you've written down everything you can about that job, I want you to break it into categories what the job's like, what the pay's like, what they're looking for, what skills work, um, locations, how long has the company been in business, uh, what are the different pay scales, what are the company's biggest weaknesses, what are their biggest strengths, who's their CEO, what does their CEO do, how many uh, you know, opportunities do they have at that job, what, what sort of hiring positions do they have, who are the hiring managers, where do they make their income, what companies are they located in. You know, so knowing all of that is really going to help you. The next thing you need to do is get really good with people. So when you're sitting there with that hiring manager, you can't be all shifty and uncomfortable and scared and you need to make a connection with that person almost immediately. That first impression is going to matter. So when you sit there with that person, go in there, try to lower your energy and just simply see what they're about. What are they looking for? Talk to them. This is a technique that's really good. When you first meet somebody, mirroring their body language is actually going to make them like you. That's scientifically proven and I don't want you to do it in a weird way. I don't want you to mirror people in some weird, the, the, the biggest thing you need to do is actually be legitimate and upfront and warm. You need to communicate confidence a lot of confidence but you also need to communicate warmth. That's actually going to help you get that job. So you don't have to have accomplished things like that but all of us have done some incredible things and I need you to move that to the forefront and communicate that with confidence but also with a degree of warmth, with eye contact, all those things are going to help you. So in that job interview, do your best to have a balance between warmth and confidence and confidence and also Understand the fact that there are so many jobs out there. If that person doesn't accept you, move on to the next one, 
follow my strategies where I say exactly how to send out your degrees, um, how to send out your resumes as well, and to get people on board with what you're doing, to get people to want to hire you. You have to intrigue them in order to stand out from the rest. So you don't need to be perfect, you just need to be different and you need to sell yourself to them. And once you've done that, you've got the job. Anyway, my name's Nader Nader Najad. Thank you for watching and take care.